Well, hello there. Welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn Hard Mode. I hope you're all well. Now, we got Ken wandering around. He's actually get, I've put him to construct and repair things on one there. And um, Viv is just crafting away. We're, we're getting geared up, ready for our next attack, which is going to come soon-ish with the two of them, you know? So we got to make sure we're prepared. Oh, we got some of the chickens. <laughs> Giant chicken attack. Nah, they're alright. They're going to come in and just die, aren't they? So we'll leave them going. But I hope you're all well, guys. Thank you, as always, for your time and support on the game. We're getting ever closer to the release on Thursday. I'm so excited. I'm going to actually have to draft Ken. You snipe it. Oh, they are coming the right way. I might not have to. Oh, the rocket. Ken, get inside. <laughs> it comes sprinting really quick. Ah, he's fine. He's happy. You watch Summit die. You enjoy that, Ken. But yeah, we're, we're coming ever closer to the update, and I'm really, really excited about it. And um, I've actually been playing a little bit of City Skylines offline. I absolutely <laughs> really, really addicted to it. If you have uh, if you play that yourself, or it's something you would like to see out of me, let me know. Once I know the game a bit more, I am tempted to do a little run-through of it. We'll see. But yeah, Ken's going to bed anyway. I think we're okay. We've got some cooking to do, Viv. Please. So we'll have a quick look while they're sleeping here. She is not... Yeah, she's cooking. That's fine. Um, let's take her off that a second. Though harvesting. Playing handpan. After she's chilled out this morning, she should be alright for some food. But I've got them... The schedule's got them just to do whatever here, hasn't it? So Schedule is anything until 6am and then they should get cracking. I've got her crafting though at the moment. That's probably... Not even needed. Um, yeah, let's get back on cooking. Crafting's not needed, Viv, once you finish that. And Ken is finishing off. He's fixed up these. He just needs to refuel both of those. But he can get at both of them now through that gate. So lesson learnt. Lesson 100% learnt. But I've been reading more on that update as well. I'm very, very excited on what the map's actually going to have. So I don't know if you've done the reading. But the, the whole moon concept that they have is going to be amazing. So you're actually going to be able to have that extra configuration on what you have. Oh, hello. What you have happening on the map. So I think that's going to be fun. Look at this. We have 140 hungry pests. And guess what? I don't need to do anything with them. They'll be fine. So I hope they don't attack at the same time. That is a lot, though. You wouldn't want one of them coming at you. Like, they're probably very close to the same size as one of the survivors, aren't they? And they have the those razor claws at the front. Interesting. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of um, just chilling out, really. I'm, I want to. So it looks like these are built now, my incendiary ones. So we are going to get to test these out, and I'm going to put some more. So I want a nice row of them here. I don't know. I kind of wanted to keep them away from. I don't know if they trigger each other, but I think having them here might work. We haven't got the fuel to do it, but we've got some. So we'll see if the big ones run in. I wish you could see. Pressure activated. Explosive trap requires... Oh, we got one attacking. Ken? There's someone attacking, mate. Get off my land. There we go. Let's bleed a few out. It does tell you if, you, if you've got them observed, I think. No, yeah. If you've got them observed, I'm pretty sure when you click on them, it tells you how long's left to bleed out as well. So it can be quite useful. Look at that. Are you all doing with your arms up? They're in protest. And having my tasty crops. That's the first time I've had hungry pests actually attack. So the beetles don't really do anything. They just chill out. Let's speed this up anyway. Viv, I don't know why you're sleeping in the middle of the day. What's up with you? Well, you're hungry and tired. We got got you working too hard. Cool. We could do with a second sensor really to cover that off then. But I think is it if you set those to hunt? They're all going for it now though, look. You know what? Undraft. Just just eat my crops. I don't need them. I don't need any of that. That's fine. The turrets should engage. What's the distance for this? Tempting to build that second one now, isn't it? You know? To be just off the control circuit for a minute. Let's just take this off the control circuit so it attacks. That could work. Look at them just chewing the fence. Nothing else. Why don't you just go for the crops? They're right there. A lot of building Ken's got to do now. Let's speed that up. Let's get him to go and do that. Handle the laser turret, mate. And that should just start beaming them all. Look at him just chewing away my fence. There you go. Get off my land. Get out of here. 
<laughs> Great fun. Get out of here. Oh, if you haven't already, by the way, I do have a Discord as well. If you haven't seen it or heard of it, it is in the description. You can get to it there. Um, I've got little little areas set up. It's not massive. We've had a few people join. But if you want to get involved and post your screenshots of your bases in there, I would love to see them. So feel free to uh, join up. And uh, I've got a little challenge series I want to start soon, and I'd love to see how far you can get based on the little challenge. Stranded, stranded Alien Dawn challenge it's going to be. Um... So yeah, I'd love to see the screenshots when I release what that's going to be as well. Not a lot we need doing at the moment, is there? We could kind of get... We might... Do you reckon it's worth extending this a little bit more? To do it. This kind of needs to be moved. I'm not happy. That doesn't really need to be anywhere anymore. There we go. That can go there. I'm going to actually extend this and get another one down. So we are going to do... Flooring. Problem is, I've done that in carbon. I don't want to use my carbon that I've got. So let's just do metal. Got plenty of metal. Can I go higher on that one? It doesn't look like it's letting me. How weird. Look at that. Oh, it's the shape of the ground. That's fine. Put that there. Can we still get through? I think we can still get through there, and I'm going to stick a turret on top of that. I think we'll go with another laser. So we're going to copy, we're going to do it properly. There we go, we'll get another laser on the go there as well. When Ken has actually repaired all these from everything chewing on it. Get all our traps sorted. That is enough though, I think, for where we're at as well by the time our next attack comes. I think we'll be okay. I, I desperately want to see how these perform though, so I want to make sure this isn't going to shoot on them, which it isn't. Because I want them to be the sole thingy. Now the hungry pests are gone, we can probably put this back on circuit too as well. I don't want that just shooting them if they come around here. Because if we get an attack from over there, obviously it will, and they'll attack over here. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure if I put Ken and Viv both over here, around by this tower, the towers, not near this wall, we should be fine. Here's the problem, though, right? The malfunctioned wind turbines, they take 18 carbon tubes. We've got 163, so after the next attack, I'm going to set those to be uh, collected. They both should run out and grab them. And Ken's going to construct this turret now as well, so that should be straight on circuit two as well. I don't know if he'll get that finished, but at a point where I should probably have stuff on with these guys as well. We have the good clothing, don't we? So make sure they've got some armor, so if they get attacked, take some doing to kill Ken, because I think he has piercing five, five. So he has 20% from piercing, 20, 30, 40. Plus these little bits. So he's got about 42%, 43% from Blunt as well that does no damage. So the little bugs can't do a lot to him. And Viv should be not far behind. So she's got a 1%, 10, 20. I don't think they have any piercing deflection, unfortunately. It'd be cool if they did, but... What is a battery? To control. Oh, hello, hello, Viv. I'm going to... Contact spaceship. Here we go. What we got? What we got? Alright, so they're going to give us fuel, scrap metal, silicon. We're going to go with the fuel. So we've got fuel for these traps. And our traps too. They've been refueled. That one not so much, but that one doesn't get used as much anyway. Pretty sure these are in a good spot. 24 of the silly things. Where are you? Over there anyway. That's fine. Ken is hitting some harvest as well. He is leveling up. He's nearly level 2. Not quite. One and a half. Almost. They are coming over, though. Let me get Viv drafted over here on this tower. So they don't really come this way. I'm actually going to draft Ken over this way as well to try and bring them in properly. Because, as you can see, they're walking towards the orbital radio. Which doesn't help. Let's see, though. I think when Viv starts shooting... Quote me on it. They should turn. One has. There we go. Oh, we get to test these out. Let's see. Oh, he headshot. Why are they? They say why they're not triggering. They did. They don't. I don't know how much they did. And they just need to be armed. I don't know if they cost to be refueled every time. I don't think they do. Missile is doing good work too. Oh, look at his head just bleeding. I'm sorry. I feel quite bad. All because of my radio. But I do think those traps are pretty good. The problem is, if the little ones come through first, maybe you need them a little bit further in. 
barbecued meat though. Hello. How are things working though when these guys are here? Because these it doesn't get much bigger than these, right? And they're coming in the right way, so I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm just gonna have to refuel all these again. Toasty. There you go, guys. Crack about your day, insufficient fuel 10, so it's going to cost me... I'm pretty sure it does cost to refuel the broken ones. Where are they? Let me click on one of those. Deals damage and stuns nearby attackers. Requires rearming after each use. It doesn't really say what it costs, though, does it? I need to keep an eye on that, because if they are... If they don't cost more fuel, I'll use more. They could be good. They're basically these, but do more damage, so... Oh, music night. Yeah, you can both go to a music night. Just have a boogie together. I wonder if doing these things together increases this as well. So this is dropping quite a bit. I'm guessing the radios, the moment you put the radios on, don't quote me on this, but all like relationship things and stuff stall. It's how it feels anyway, you know? Well then, Kent, grab our fuel there, mate. Oh, we have a spaceship. Uh, what are you doing, Viv? Handling 3D printer. All right, we'll let her quickly do that, and then we'll do this. And she can transport after. What we got? Oh, now... Yeah, I was going to say about a vote, obviously, what I didn't do, but... I don't think Vivian can stay till the end, to the bitter end, because she can't heal herself, you know? So, we're going to have to... Get rid of all this, all right? Send her on her way, and uh, Vivian is going to go. I'm quickly going to get her to cook that meal, though, before we send her, and maybe do a little bit of that, because we, we're not in a rush. You know what? Just get out of here. <laughs> oh, bye, Viv. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for all your crafting. Now, Ken. We kind of just need to micromanage him, but it's going to be a case of me just waiting for the attacks and waiting for him to kind of be sent away, I guess, to prove that it can be done. But knowing my luck, I'll probably get attacked by flyers, so we'll just have to see. Going to have to put him on cooking, though, which... Yeah, he hasn't done before. Let's get rid of... Uh, oh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. I can just tell him to do things, right? But there we go. Ken, then there was one. My man Ken. Lover has gone. I was just making the room bigger too. Don't eat all the food though, mate. I might need um, to turn off. He can't do any any of this. Because he doesn't have the cooking skill. So he's going to have to go to... Um, <laughs> he's going to have to go to veggie soup, unfortunately. He's going to always have to keep himself veggie souped up. That's okay though. Good man, Ken. I don't know. He seems happy. Go to your music night though, mate. Go and enjoy some music. I'm and Ken. All by myself. That's him singing, by the way. <laughs> oh, don't wanna be... And yes, I can't sing. I'm sorry. Right. Get back to doing something, mate. Bong, ba bong, ba bong. What about this one? You gonna play this one? Did you redo? I wish you could get, like, a guitar. Maybe. Maybe extra music items. Oh, crap. Here we go. Ken? Kenny boy. Look at this. That is a big attack. So we've got 15 big ones. 105 Shrieker Hatchlings, which are rubbish, actually. And then 25 Bloated. So the Bloated's got the, the, the Explodey, right? This should be fun. This should be fun. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Right, let's draft him up. Up on the tower he goes. And let's see how we get on here. Some, Yeah, see, they were pathing towards him there, but now he's up on there. It does look like they've turned around, so this should be good. Through the trees, an army comes. Look at this through there, look. Oh, he's already sniping them. Ping. Can you see him, Ken? That's kind of scary, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, he's already taken out the big boys. There we go. We get to 
I don't think... Did they get rearmed? Oh, they did get rearmed. Cool. Look, I'm getting shredded before they even get here, though. Wow. You're going to get past the first wall there, guys. Oh, I don't think we're going to... The big one should trigger one of these. We're not going to see it very well, but... Let's get rid of some of this. We did see it. One was over there. Missile guy. Here we go. Barbecue time. <laughs> Damaged flamethrower. They are chomping on it. Chomping at the bit. Ooh. How are we doing, Kent? I'm very happy observing all this death. Bring all those back on. We're doing well. Ooh, carbon wall. You little... All right. Definitely not happy, are they? I can get him to go grab those carbon things after this anyway. I just don't want him to be out there and the radio go on. They're also attacking this wall. That's the first time they've done that, too. Hasn't been a problem, though. Not at all. Turret should switch onto those in a second. And Ken sniping. There's one little one there. Can you see that one? You see that one, Ken? I want you to come grab that. Oh, he sniped it anyway. There we go. Lovely stuff. Well, not bad at all. So they got up to here. And the fact that they stop and shoot at this is not a problem. Still weird that they're deciding to do that. But is it a... Again, this narrow pathing issue? Because I have noticed that no big things have yet to go through. No, because those big tank ones got all the way to here, didn't they? And it is three wide. Three wide is fine. So, yeah. It's definitely not that. So we need some carbon wind turbines repairing, and guess what? We don't have any, so I'm hoping... I don't know how many you can carry, but I'm going to set those to use, and I'm going to get Ken to uh, pull the nanotubes right now. He should be alright. I'm not due an attack, it's just the radio signal. That's the only frustrating thing. It'll probably come, but we do need those, because without power, we are screwed, and as you can see, they've smashed through quite a bit. Oh, we have a spaceship! Finally. Wow. I've been, uh, if you can tell, a couple of days in game just chilling. Just chilling. It's probably going to be nothing anyway because our last one was a survivor, but that's okay. We'll take the, what have we got? We'll take the electronics, to be honest. All right. Look at this. This is a scarier one, isn't it? Hey, eh? One person. Here we go. All right. I'm not too concerned about the big boys, actually. We should be fine. Um, we've just got some Shrieker brood mothers to deal with, so we can all but get them ready for this. We should be fine. We should be okay. I'm going to leave them drafted up there, and I'm going to let them come in. Wow, one's decided he wants to attack. Why? Well, if you want to attack on your own, that's no problem. You're going to make it a lot easier. They are fast, though. And the little shits have decided to uh, eat at my fence. Well... Thank you for making it a little bit easier. They're now chomping on the big boy over there, look. You're getting your meat. You got blue blood. Oh my god, Ken's fainted. He's too bloody tired. You can't faint right now, mate. Come on. <laughs> Ken. I'm going to let him snooze until they attack. Until they... Oh my god, they're all coming, mate. Oh well, it looks like it's happening. Ken, you stay in bed, mate. Let's see. If they path this way, you can stay in bed, all right? I'm happy with that. That's okay. The only problem is these. We can deal with those after. That's okay. He's just chilling. Yeah, just sleep, mate. Oh, big boy has fallen, is stunned. Okay. These are the only things I was worried about. We should be fine here. They are chewing through stuff, but through this fence for some reason. Which is a little bit worrying, but that's okay. Big boy's getting shredded. Yep, he's getting burnt. We're fine. Ken, you... I have to get you back up, mate. I know you're tired, and I had you stood up there for hours, but... um, kind of need you over here, mate, because the pathing's all weird. There we go. They're coming around now. He might... Can he see those? Can he see that one? I'm pretty sure he can. Ken, you don't need to get down. You can bloody see that. Okay. Oh, hello. He's in. Do not let that disrespect you, Ken. Oh, well, it was fine. The base does really well. 
genuinely does really well when they're pathing. Obviously Ken painted, which doesn't help, but I'm going to send him out this way. And I'm going to get him to go snipe. Oh god, do not let that hit you. Come this way, mate. Come this way. There we go. Welcome to the Thunderdome. There we go. Go to bed, Ken. Well, we just had a solar flare happen. 18 devices disabled. Luckily, nothing's going to be attacking, I think. Again, stupid thing. We'll probably get flyers come. That was just after the attack, though. Same day, by the way, just the middle of the night. All right, we've just been hit by another aggressive animals. This is how far gone it is, right? We had, so we had this orbital antenna break, this orbital ant antenna break, and also this break as well. So, we, we, yeah, it gets so frustrating with one at the end, doesn't it? Like, you're literally just waiting to go and there's nothing you can do. And everything just starts breaking. <laughs> Great fun. But yeah, we've got um, a few things attacking. There are all these. I'm not worried about this attack at all. That's not scary. Should be fine. The solar flare happened and we haven't got to worry about that. You can carry on eating the fence all you like. So if you come up to here, you'll get shot. So, yeah, whatever. Although it does look like they're going towards my other stuff. You silly things. I gotta be careful because Ken is so close to meltdown as well. Once he's eaten that, I probably just need to get him to lie down. Alright, let's draft him. Let's get him up on the tower. You've had a little snooze. Here we go. Alright, let's slow this down. Let's see how he fares on his own again. Should be fine, as I say. Most of the traps are reset. I'm actually going to set these to not be uh, repaired either. There we go. Chewing on this fence. They're trying to get at this. Not working, mate. Machine gun turret destroyed. How are they attacking that from there? That's what I want to know. They cannot reach that. I guess they can. <laughs> and they're chewing on here as well. This wall, I think because it's not fully sealed, didn't really work. So I won't be using that kind of method next time anyway. Not worried. It's fine. Let's speed it up. And there we go. All done. I want you doing this first, please. Another solar flare, by the way, there, guys. Second one straight after the attack. It's game over if that happens, by the way, with just one of us. 100% game over. Oh, we finally, finally got ourselves a spaceship. Oh my god, it has been so long. Ken, this has got to be it, man. It's been that long. Oh my god. Uh, no need to send anything. We don't need anything. Right back to it. Oh, we have another one straight away. Oh my god. Come on, Ken. Gotta be it, right? It's bet it's a passerby. Bet it's a passerby. I just want to see my stats. Hey, here we go, guys. Oh, it's been eventful. This is hard mode, baby. Ken. Get your ass up. I really want to see my stats. Oh, there we go. See you later, Ken. That is everyone. Victory. We saved four of five. Hey, not bad, right? But yeah, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this hard mode, man. It's been it's been eventful. That last those last like 15 days are rough, man. I've just left everything broken, but we did have enough to get through, so we did successfully complete it, and we'll be going into a new series on Wednesday, Thursday. Sorry, update is Thursday, and I'll try and get an episode out on Thursday as well for you. But as always, I do appreciate you massively. I'm hoping to see some stats here when they come up. Here we go. So. One survivor met their tragic end. 180 days this one was. I would have done it for longer, but the the uh, announcement of the new map, obviously. Cannot do that. So, largest animal attack, 219. That's not true. We had a bigger one than that, so that makes no sense. <laughs> we actually had one with 200-odd uh, just bugs plus the other stuff, didn't we? Um, eight breakthroughs, 45. And we killed nearly 3,000 animals. Um, most common device was the trap. Love that. Uh, look at this. We only acquired 174 electronics. So we did quite well. 
really. Uh, electronic consumption, 659,000. Wow. Most popular relaxation was taking walks, no marriages, and one burial. There we go, guys. So, I appreciate you massively. Join me in the next series, and uh, tell me how much you thought of the series. As always, though, guys, take it easy, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.